I'm Mr Anderson and welcome to this week's PE session. This week we'll be looking at a game called Sitting Volleyball, which you may not have heard before. Uh, this is played in the Power Olympic Games, which is a collection of lots of different sports, all adapted so everybody can take part, whether they've got some kind of physical disability or impairment. And in the case of Sitting Volleyball, we play it sat down, so it's brilliant for those people who may not have the same kind of use of their legs as we do. So this week uh, we've got three different challenges for you to try. Make sure you look at the learning objectives on the slide um, and also there's a plenary challenge at the end which is going to test out your maths a little bit as well. So we'll start off now with our first challenge. So we've got three challenges for you to try today. Before you start you might just want to look at the YouTube link on the PDF because that will give you an idea about how the game is working and you will also need to look at that for the silver challenge so I recommend that you do that first. Okay, um, so our bronze challenge. What you need, um, a balloon would be great, or some kind of soft object. Um, I've just got a beach ball here. And what you need to do is see how many times you can keep it in the air, but using a different body part each time. So for example, you're going to pick a body part and see how many times you can keep it in the air. So I'm going to start using my right hand. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, keep going and do as many as you can and write down your scores. You will need those numbers later on. Then find a different body part and try again. So I might use my left foot. One, two, oh, a bit harder. And you got one that time. I might try that one again to get a higher score. One, got to move this time. Three, four, five. Okay, you get the idea and try as many different body parts as you can but you will need at least six, okay? So you'll need that for your numeracy challenge that's to come, so have a look at the PDF for that. For our silver challenge, at this time, you're going to need a target. I'm just going to use uh, my bag that I use, I use uh, for work, so anything like that's absolutely fine. And what you need to do is look on the video, uh, the YouTube link in the PDF, to about one minute 40, and it shows you two types of shot that are really commonly used in seated volleyball. One is a serve and one is what we call a set. Now a serve is when you hit the object, the balloon, with one hand and your aim is to try and hit the target as many times as you can. So I'm going to sit, throw it in the air, hit it and I hit it that time so that's one point. And you can use that with whatever object you are using. If you can hit it from this distance, move a bit further back, move a bit further back, move a bit further back, and I'll make your um, target a little bit smaller each time. So that's for the serve. For a set in volleyball, what we do, we have two hands in front of us, okay, and we use a pushing action, so it's not a hit, it's a push. We push it in the air, and again, I'm gonna try and hit my back. So I've got two hands, I'm pushing it, and I've got it once. Oh, it was a little bit hard, I missed it that time. So practice your serve and your set. And for the gold level challenge, this time you're going to play a little bit of a game against somebody in your household. So I'm going to use my bag again as a net. If you had somebody in your household, then you wouldn't need to use a wall. I'm just going to use the wall instead. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to sit the other side of the net. I'm going to set, serve, hit the ball against there. And if the ball lands on the floor on my side, then I lose the point. If I can keep going for five shots without the ball dropping on the floor, then I win the point. So you can play a little bit of a game, either with somebody else in your household or by using a wall like I've done there. So there are your three challenges. So thank you for taking part. I hope you've enjoyed uh, what we've done today and that you've learned something as well. Don't forget to do your numeracy challenge before you, before you pack your bags. Um, and to finish with, what I'd like you to do is have a think about some of the key skills that we've looked at today and chat through with a partner or somebody at home in your household and just decide what, what key skills do you think you need to be a really good sitting volleyball player and give reasons for those choices as well. Okay, thank you.